Uncle Venti, the Venti's tool man, and here with Auntie Kay, the yard sales arena, and she's behind the camera today, or at least starting off. And this is for the yard sale for the weekend of January the 29th, 2011. Yard sale show! The yard sale show, yes. And we went to several estate sales this, this weekend, and at one of them I, I bought a number of tools. I bundled together for $20. Uh, the first was a DeWalt circular saw. We looked this up online. Uh, it sells for around $50 to $60. Uh, I also bought a Collins axe. Uh, this company is actually still in business. This is a one and a half pounder, and this sells new for around $16. I also bought a pair of Jurgensen uh, clamps, uh, bar clamps. Uh, one is 18 inches and the other is 24 inches. Uh, these are, are around $25 for the pair. And the last item I got was a was a plane. Uh, this plane was made by a company called Skiodo Tools. Skiodo. Skiodo Tools. Uh, they're in Ohio. Uh, they're, the company uh, was started in 1800, so this could be a very old plane. Uh, we saw a number of, of planes by the Seattle company on, on online, uh, they were jack planes, a little bit larger planes, and they were they were selling for around forty dollars. So we would uh, expect this to sell for something around twenty five dollars. Um, and so that's the items that I have for today. And I'll turn it over to Auntie Kay, and she'll tell you about her her items. Okay, the transfer. All right. So, looks like slim pickings here, doesn't it? But I did find a few items. At an estate sale in Arnold, Maryland. I got this, it's a nice bell, you can put it outside your home. It's just a decorative cast iron item. I liked it, it's got a sailboat on it. We are in Annapolis. Uh, it's not vintage or antique. I only paid $10 for it and I think it's a very nice item. I'm going to hang it up in my house. At that same estate sale, I found this. I think this was the only vintage item they actually had in the, at this estate sale. This is old. It belonged to the owner's brother. He used it, so she said it was at least 70 years old. Uh, it's a neat little kid's chair or a chair to put a doll on. I paid $15 for it. I don't expect I would get much more than 25 uh, or 30 for it, but I thought it was really cute and very nice and rustic. The other items that I got were at another estate sale that was out off of Arundel on the Bay, and these are either German or Dutch candy molds. They're old wooden pieces that they would pour the chocolate in and it would cool and then they would pop it out of there. One side is a female figure and the other side is a male. I have two sizes, one smaller and one quite large. Same thing, two-sided, woohoo. I paid uh, $5 each for these items. I think she felt bad. When I first got there, there was a gorgeous clock on the wall. I pulled the clock off and had walked around with it for a long time, and then finally the husband asked her how much. She said she didn't want to sell it. He wanted to sell, she didn't. So I didn't get the clock, so I think she uh, felt obligated to sell these to me for five bucks each looked online, these items, just one-sided, sell for 100 to 150. Uh, so conservatively, each one of these is, I would say, 50 to 100 dollars. Wow, that was good. Uh, so Binti, can you see? While I was there, I found a couple of bottles. <laughs> An old silver top salt shaker. She gave those to me for free. 
So I'm a happy camper. This is a, a growler from the Baltimore Brewing Company in just two neat little bottles with those stoppers that I like. You can't pass up free. Then one other sale that was right up the road out there in Arundel on the Bay. We found tucked away in a corner this neat old chest. Now it does need some refinishing but we can do that. The refinishing is fairly minor. Push the button. Oh, push the button. I did this at the, at the sale also. When you open this up, it's beautiful. Look at this. This is a cedar line trunk. It's by a company called Lane Alta Vista, Virginia. Now, the Lane Company started again in the 1800s. We actually dated this chest. You can date it by the serial number. And this chest is from, help me out Uncle Vinti, is it September? September the 21st, 1937. 1937. That number is on the bottom of the, the chest. The number is on the bottom of the chest. Um, this chest also was sold by a, the Peerless Furniture Company in Washington, D.C. and. They were located downtown D.C., but after Martin Luther King was assassinated, there was rioting in that area, near the Furniture Row area in Washington, D.C. Now, it, there was no looting or burning or thing, destruction of the companies, but it scared a lot of the vendors, so they moved up north to the High Rent District there on Connecticut Avenue. Uh, so I love this this chest and we are going to rehab this chest and I'm probably going to use it to put my sweaters in. So what did I pay for this? $15. $15 and we saw them to 200 and up online when, when they're restored. So I think we did pretty good. Not too bad. That's it for the Art Sales Show for the week of January the 29th. We will be back next week with more Yard Sale Finds.